let's review XY relationships. So XY relations are when we have two quantities that are being related through some equation or some calculation. So in this case, an employer offers you a job and gives you the option of two pay structures for the month. So in option A, you start with $300 base salary and earn $8.50 per hour. Okay, so that's option A. So that looks like this when we write out the option as a calculation relationship. So option B, we have we start with a base salary of $100 and we earn $11 an hour. So this one starts with less but earning more per hour. Okay, so the rate is higher. So what we're looking for is we want to compare these two options. Which at what point are these salaries going to be the same? So the assumption then would be that if we know when the, the pay is the same, if we work more hours than that equivalent, we probably want to select the higher pay per hour. But if we earn, if we don't work that many hours, or we don't work as many hours as when they are equal to each other, we would probably take the, the, the first option since we start with more money. Okay, so we can just kind of calculate this and we can plug table of values in and see what when the options are the same or when one is getting paid more than the other. So if I look at option A, so I'm going to multiply 80 hours by 8.5. Okay, so that works out to be, what's that going to be? So it's going to be 80 hours times 8.5. Okay, so that's going to give me $680 plus the original $300. So I'm going to earn $900. $180. So it looks like that's going to be when they're the same. So option A and option B. So it looks like option B, when I calculate 80 times 11 plus 100, yeah, that's going to be the same. So at 90 hours, option B is going to be 90 times 11 plus the original 100 is 990 plus 100. So that's going to be my 1090 here. And option B, so $8.50 times the 90 hours, that's uh, $765. And then I'm going to add my original $300, and that's going to be definitely less. So it looks like when the options are the same at 80 hours, okay, so if I'm going to work more than 80 hours, I probably want to choose a higher rate or option B. And if I'm going to work less than 80 hours, I want to choose option A, which starts with a greater amount. So just to finish off my calculations here, we should probably compare for 70 hours. And that's going to be $895 here. And for 70 hours in option B, it's going to be $870. Okay, so we can see that, yeah, option B is better for well, for more hours greater than 80, option A would be better for more less hours than 80 hours in that month. Now, when we graph these, remember that when these equations, these ta relate to tables, they also relate to graphs. The, when we want to find out when these options are equivalent, we can graph these and we can see where they are the same and then analyze them that way. So in option A, it is a linear relationship with a starting value of 300 and a slope of 8.5. Option B is going to start with less money and it's going to have a greater slope. So option A, option B, and where they are the same is going to be this point right there. Okay, At 80 hours, we're going to have the same, same pay. And we can then analyze this situation based on the comparison of these two relationships. And we can see when, the, when they, these two relationships are the same. Or in other words, where these two relationships meet.